Tyrannosaurs like Desplatosaurus were so successful that by the late Cretaceous, they were the apex predator across virtually all of North America and Asia. In Asia, there was Electrosaurus, Allioramus, and Tarbosaurus. In America, Albertosaurus, Gorgosaurus, Desplatosaurus, and T. rex. But moving further north, evidence of Tyrannosaurs becomes increasingly rare. In Alaska, fossils have been excavated close to the Arctic Ocean. It's the richest source of dinosaurs that lived in the polar regions. And it seems here a different type of killer dominated. The most common plant eater in this region is the highly social Edmontosaurus. They're the largest duck-billed dinosaur in North America. And they are the perfect prey for a very different type of predator. Trudon may not look as lethal as a tyrannosaur, but fossil evidence suggests that these two were deadly hunters, surviving entirely on a diet of meat. At first sight, it appears the adult and Montosaurus have little to fear. 12 meters in length and weighing three and a half tons, they physically dwarf this diminutive predator. Trudon were usually small, two-meter dinosaurs. But the teeth from the Alaskan Trudon showed something remarkable. These Arctic predators were almost twice as big as normal. Trudon not only survived here, they positively thrived. And that's because their hunting prowess comes into its own after sunset. This is a land where, after late summer, there are more hours of darkness than light. Trudon famously have the largest brains relative to their body size of any dinosaur. Although, what appears more important are their eyes. Not only are they forward-facing, making them active hunters, but they are exceptionally large. These are predators that can hunt equally well after dark. Although the group offers protection, predators always choose the easiest prey. So it's the juvenile Edmontosaurs that are at risk. Separated from the group, this youngster has made a dangerous mistake.
Alaskan dinosaur bone beds are dominated by juvenile Edmontosaurus remains. Some show clear evidence of Trudon bite marks. It seems, despite its small size, Trudon thrived here by exploiting the vulnerability of the juveniles throughout the long, dark winter months. With a steady food supply, it means Trudon can survive the harsh Arctic winters. And in doing so, grew to almost double the size of their cousins further south. But these were the exceptions. 